what comes next after the Mueller testimony? Investigations, lawsuits, and impeachment, or all of the above? Uh, investigations, yes. Lawsuits, yes. Impeachment, no. Uh, and if I can translate uh, Pelosi's <laughs> speak to you, that's basically what she was saying, is we're going to run this out. Where they've got a bunch of cases where they have brought subpoenas against uh, people, subpoenas to seek documents. Some of those are going to be adjudicated in the courts. They've got those uh, contempt citations against various officials. So they're going to keep this running uh, well into the fall. But I, I think uh, to a large degree, it's, it's a, yeah. a holding action by Nancy Pelosi and the House leadership, who have never been enthused about the idea of impeachment, have thought that it would be... Uh, a, a, a political show that goes nowhere. Certainly, there's been no bipartisan buy-in and uh, in, among Republicans in the Senate. You, the only mm -hmm. way you get this is if you get, uh, what is I'm trying to think, I think 20 Republican senators, because there are 47 Democrats. Right. You have to get all the 47 Democrats and then 20 Republicans. I don't think there's a single yeah. Republican at this point who's for uh, removing the president. So it would be, a, I think, a tremendous political waste of time, in addition to which, first of all, you had the hearing yesterday, which I think from the pro-impeachment camp was a big disappointment. Uh, and secondly, on tomorrow, the House goes out of session, goes on recess for six weeks. So there's no momentum, and there's going to be even less when they come back the second week in September. Yeah, the president claimed victory. He said Mueller did a horrible job. Uh, so you were right. He did watch. Remember, he said he wasn't going to watch. You said, yeah, I bet he's going to be watching. I think you were right. Uh, how did you think it went uh, for Democrats yesterday? Well, not well. Uh, look, it, there are a lot of things that are, uh, and that's why I kind of hesitate at the idea of saying that the president should declare victory, except in one narrow way that he should, and maybe the most important way. Uh, it's, it's certainly not like he got a clean legal bill of health yesterday. There were a lot of damaging facts that were related, and to the degree that, that he came forward, and he didn't often, but uh, that Mueller did say some things that were negative about the president and in terms of enumerating uh, allegations in his report. But in the end, if you're Donald Trump, there's one question that you have to ask yourself, and then this is where it was a big victory for him, and that is, are you closer or are you further away from impeachment at the end of every day? And at the end of yesterday, which conceivably could have been a bad day for the president and a good day for the pro-impeachment forces, you'd have to say impeachment was an even more distant prospect than it had been at the beginning of the day. So in that sense, it was a victory for the president. He doesn't want to be impeached. I have yeah. to say it may also have been a victory for Nancy Pelosi. She doesn't want to expend the political capital to impeach right. the president. She thinks it's a bad move for Democrats trying to hold on to their majority in November 2020. And I think impeachment is was not much of a prospect going into yesterday. It's even more of a long shot today. All right. Joe Biden weighed in on impeachment talks as well on the campaign trail. Let's listen to that and then have you react. So there's a lot in this report. And I think that if they do not continue, if they continue to stonewall the information available that the, that the, excuse me, that the Congress is, is, has entitled to get, then, in fact, I think they have no choice but to file articles of impeachment. Uh, would they have no choice? <laughs> well, first of all, I have to say that's not the best clip of, uh, <laughs> of Joe Biden. Uh, they're, they're not going to impeach him. I, let me just say this. Unless there is some huge new piece of, of new information mm -hmm. that comes out, the Congress, the House is not going to impeach Donald Trump. Uh, they had the 22 months uh, the Mueller team investigated. We got the report a couple of months ago. Uh, there were some, certainly some damaging allegations in there, but I, the country seemed to have made up its mind, yeah. both the members in Congress and the public, that they don't want to see this president impeached. Uh, and and uh, some Democrats were holding out hope yeah. that, uh, that, that Robert Mueller was going to make a strong case yesterday. He didn't make a strong case. Uh, so unless there's something new there, and you've got to think after 22 months there isn't, mm -hmm. there's not going to be an impeachment. Just mm -hmm. not going to happen. Yeah, but still there are some Democrats that are, you know, clinging on to that chance. Uh, there's a, you know, the caucus meeting that happened right after Mueller's first testimony yesterday uh, after the House Judiciary Committee. Uh, the chairman, uh, Jerry Nadler, pushed to launch impeachment proceedings. And despite Pelosi's hesitant, hesitancy, because she basically says it's very premature, those are her words, um, he has gone as far as to indicate that the committee could actually launch proceedings proceedings on its own. Is that likely to happen? No. no. Uh, the jury Nadler is going to buck 
uh, Nancy Pelosi, who's the Speaker of the House, and do this over her opposition? No, I don't think there's a, any chance that, that he will do that. And, and look, at this point, I think, what, there are 95 votes in favor of impeachment. Uh, that's not even a majority uh, of, the, of the Democrats, let alone a majority of the House. There really is not the sentiment yeah. at this point. Uh, to, I, I, at this point, if there were an impeachment, I don't think the president would be impeached, let alone go to the Senate and get a two-thirds majority to remove him. I'm telling you, <laughs> we can keep talking about this. Yeah. The president is not going to be impeached. Well, the Democrats are going to keep talking about it, but I believe that the uh, the odds are not, you know, uh, that are not in the, their favor. But thank you very much, Chris Wallace. Always great to see you. We'll watch you on Sunday. Thanks, Julie.